After a week of rainfall, plant life starts to appear once more in the valley. This is good for the herbivores in the valley. And right now, one is on the move. This is a male triceratops, one of the most common dinosaurs here in the valley. He is a leader of a herb of triceratops that are on their way to go get some water by a small lake. Behind him is a young subadult triceratops. It is unknown whether or not that when this triceratops grow, he will challenge the predecessor of this herd. But for that, he's got a lot of learning to do. The small herd is waiting on another member, a female. They wait here until she returns. But the female is far in the forest. This is Terra, the Triceratops. She is the mate of the male leader of the group. She has come into the forest to eat some of the best, some of the best plants here. However, her eyes catch something in the distance. She sees a nest. In front of her are three small Diplodocus eggs. They are old, from last spring. Three have hatched from there, and they belong to a mother Diplodocus. Terra watches it. She's never seen a nest before in her life. This is good because since mating season is coming soon, she will have to lay eggs of her own. So watching this is good to know how she will need to make her nest. Knowing well enough that she's been gone from the herd for a pretty long time, she goes back to go find them. The herd is becoming impatient. They cannot wait for her much longer. Luckily for them, she shows up. Now that she has returned, the group can continue their journey to go find the small lake. In order to get to the small lake, they will have to pass through the forest, go really deep down into the valley, pass through what is mostly the home for many predators, and journey down the sauropod path. What makes this trip so dangerous is that they are passing through a territory for a giant creature, the biggest one on this island lives. Those who pass this territory never return. So the Triceratops herd will have to be careful. Down by the small lake are two sauropods. They are two baby Diplodocuses, known as Leah and Yaisa. Their mother is somewhere deep in the valley, feasting on plant life. The two young Diplodocuses stay together to make sure that they are safe until their mother returns. Right now, each of them take turns at getting a drink. Now, they are to continue to walk until their mother returns. This whole time, they were being watched, but not by a hunter. A female, the Risenosaurus, has been consuming plants while the young Diplodocuses were drinking water. Although she has long claws, she mainly uses this to help her rip off plants that she can't do with her teeth and to protect her from other predators that are in the valley. Her name is Crystal. She acts as a babysitter to the young Diplodocuses until their mom returns. However, a predator is close by. A female Velociraptor has been watching the two young this whole time and now seizes her chance to attack. Crystal notices this. 
the Velociraptor hears this and turns around. At first, she sees nothing, but then she notices the giant, the Risenosaurus. The raptor sees the claws on her hands. Knowing that the Therizinosaur will not think twice to hurt her, she leaves. Now that the Velociraptor is gone, Crystal goes back to eating. The Velociraptor is a well-known hunter in the valley. Her name is Slice. Since she was unlucky, she decides to go find food somewhere else. Further down into a valley, a group of stegosaurs have spread out and are eating the plant life that is beginning to grow in this part of the valley. Although they are pretty big, there's one here that dwarfs them all. A seven ton male stegosaurus. Indeed, he was a herbivore, but very dangerous. The 17 bony plates on his back are only there for display. It's the four foot long spikes on his tail which makes him so lethal. With this, he can strike with a very devastating effect, despite having a small brain for his body size. His name is Tony. He has joined the herd to come feast on some plants. The young Diplodocuses have joined the herd because they think they will be protected by the Stegosaurus from predators. However, the two Allosaurus have been drawn here by the smell of prey. The Stegosaurus moves his body back and forth to show the rest of his spines to fear the male Allosaurus. Knowing that he doesn't stand a chance against the Stegosaurus, the Allosaurus backs down. The dead Stegosaurus will provide much food for Alicia for these past next days. The Allosaurus is a very fearsome predator. These were the top predators of the time of the Jurassic. Lee and Yeza were able to make it out alive. Size means survival in the valley and the two young sisters have a lot to learn. Now returning to take care of them is an old friend of ours, their mother. The Jurassic Mother, the biggest Diplodocus in the valley. She is a good example of how a mother dinosaur should care for her young. She gently nudges them both to let them know that they are now safe. Because she's such a great parent, the Jurassic Mother will not abandon her children until they're old enough to live on their own. She will stay by their side until that day comes. Together as a family once more, they return to their home. After a long journey through the valley, the Triceratops have made it to the lake. It's a long journey home for these powerful dinosaurs. However, Predator also comes to the lake. This is Snaggletooth, the Ceratosaurus. He is an old enemy of the Jurassic Mother, for he had killed and eaten 
one of her babies, long months ago. The Ceratopsians feel very uncomfortable, because he is a predator, and predators love to eat meat. They stand their ground, thinking that the Ceratosaurus will attack them. This makes them very nervous. Though he may not be the top predator in the valley, he's still quite a dangerous one. So many view him as an enemy. As night falls in the valley, many dinosaurs are getting ready to go to sleep. For a new day starts tomorrow. An old male Brachiosaurus named Marty is traveling down the sauropod path to go find his way home and go rest. As does this Parasaurolophus. However, a dinosaur decides to get supper before he goes to sleep. This is Kida, the Gaiganatosaurus. Kida means killer. So what Kida is about to do is what makes him live up to his name. He gets ready to attack the Parasaurolophus. He is victorious. However, a noise startles him in the valley. He's in the territory no one's allowed to cross. What was making all that noise was a young male apatosaurus named Pat. This calms Kirita down for a little bit. However, when he took a second look, he notices it. <laughs> Knowing better than to stick around, Kira finds a safer place to eat. Although a new day starts tomorrow, the dangers of the valley will never end. <laughs>